So today I'll be distilling frankincense. Um, frankincense has been used in medicine for over 5,000 years. It's actually the sap from the Boswellia tree. Um, and these here are called tears. Frankincense tears. Um, here I have one pound and I'm hoping that I can get uh, two to 10% yield out of this. Um, never done it before, we'll see what happens. Um, Boswellia is found in the uh, Arabic Peninsula as well as uh, East Africa. Um, this type of frankincense is Boswellia kateri. Um, with this particular strand, is 80% um, of it is from Somalia. So as I said before, this is my first time. Um, I've put the um, frankincense tears right into the boiling flask instead of the biomass flask and uh, the reason I'm doing that is uh, first of all I'm worried about this ruining my equipment or you know creating a huge job for cleaning with the resin so I wanted to kind of keep everything together so I'm only experienced in steam distilling this is going to be hydro steam distilling and uh, again we'll see how that turns out hopefully I have a, a good yield As uh, things are heating up here, it appears that the um, frankincense tears are dissolving into the water. I've been using the back of a uh, wooden spoon, the, the dowel part, to stir things up off the bottom uh, because I'm nervous about the resin burning on the hot plate. So I'm going to use this and kind of stir everything around, keep things moving while it comes to a boil. We're at a full rolling boil right now. You can watch everything go up into the uh, biomass flask. Kind of goes up through there and then recedes back down. The good news is, is that there's steam coming up through the still arm. So this is kind of fun right here and interesting to see. This is uh, just about one hour into the distillation. Um, seems to be working pretty well so far. You can see this layer right here. Uh, looks like about 1% so far. And uh, hoping to get a lot more. So now we're in uh, two hours into the distillation. And it looks like I'm not getting as much oil as I wanted. Still sitting between one and two. So I'll probably let it go in another hour and see if I can pick up some more. It's been uh, three and a half hours and it looks like I'm gonna get a pretty average yield of one to two percent. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn everything off and let everything settle. So at this point, I'm going to separate the um, essential oil from the hydrosol. And you can pretty much see where the oil is. So I'm going to go ahead and start to drain off the hydrosol. Floating there, and switch hands here. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. Drain all the liquid off. And then you're just left with the oil and take the oil and put it in this one, one ounce jar and just fully drain it and there we go we've separated the oil from the hard salt so it looks like um, I got about a quarter of an ounce out of um, a pound 
of frankincense, so I was hoping to get a little bit more, but this will do. So I put uh, five drops of the frankincense essential oil into this diffuser, and it smells amazing. Um, citrusy, fruity, earthy, piney, um, really fantastic. So well worth the time spent doing it.